Welcome to the code. Construction, design, engineering. This is India's number one construction podcast. Hi and welcome to the code. We are at DR Build, and I am here with Mr. Subhashish Mandal. He is an architect by education and he is an interior designer of a brilliant degree and he works with Kensler. Hi sir, how are you? Very well, thank you for having me. How's the exhibition so far turning out for you? Yeah, so I think the exhibition's great. It's an interesting DRC, I think is trying to establish its platform of a lot of different kinds of uh, entities. There is architecture, there's interior design, there's building materials, there is construction, there is services. Mm. So I think that the exhibition has the potential to become more mature and diverse yeah. into scale and opportunity. Right. But it's uh, yeah, it's a good show and there aren't too many construction shows that really happen. So I'm glad that there are more people coming in on the forte. So yeah. you were telling me about having studied architecture. Yeah. And then in the 90s or something, there was nothing like interior design in India, right? That's right. And there was no formal study for it. That's correct. How did the evolution take place? So I think when I started, st I started college in 91. Yeah. So when at that point of time, interior design was not really a course people knew. During the course of my studies, certain polytechnics began to do smaller courses, but they weren't very professional. The whole idea of, co you know, the regimen of what they taught you wasn't really evolved. But for me, I always knew, uh, I think for me, interior design is really about scale and detail. So when I was studying architecture, I, when you apply the idea of aesthetics, you start understanding what scales you're comfortable mm. with. So for me, interior design was a scale I enjoyed. It had the potential to personalize itself. It also was more storytelling oriented to me personally when I was trying to work with clients. And I kind of took that into exhibition design, interior spaces, retail, uh, F&B. So I did a lot of that, but now I'm mostly working with corporate design. Awesome. Workspace. Yeah, so um, every designer has their own personality. Every yeah. designer has their own inspiration coming from various places. Yeah. He was just talking to architect uh, Krishna Rao Jaisen and mm -hmm. he said he tells me how he read the book Fountainhead mm -hmm. and he's always been in love with it. That's mm -hmm. why the, the firm's also called Jaisen Fountainhead. Mm -hmm. Running it for like 40, 50, 60 years now. Yeah. Uh, no retirement, uh, retirement age for the man. Uh, what's your one inspiration that you drive from and uh, what's your one message to students studying interior design now? Okay, so I have a very different take on design. Okay. For me, first of all, there's never one inference for me. I find that design is extremely diverse. All genres of design, whether it's fashion, art, sculpture, craft, yeah. interiors, architecture, they all provide you inspirations. Yeah. So my one message would be is don't restrict yourself. Go where your mind takes you and let everything inspire the language that you make for yourself. Mm. That's the way it should be. Yeah. There's no one directive and there's no one message. Your message is your message. And when you started out, things were not hunky-dory, right? Not everything was easy coming, not if all projects were easy coming. Yeah. There were challenges, right? Yeah. Every onset, yeah. everybody faces those challenges, right? Correct. Uh, youngsters, especially these days, yeah. uh, there's this mindset of building overnight, <laughs> achieving overnight. Yeah. And I, for one have, well, I don't have a problem with it, but the idea is you can have success overnight sometimes. Yes, you but can. There's like, there's the, that 1% people, you know, maybe mm. even lesser. Right. And it's probably, yes, hard work put in together, people see as luck, but it doesn't happen overnight, does it? No, it doesn't. I will say the two things in my career, which is now at almost about 30 years, mm. I have done my own practice for about four or five years. Otherwise, I've, I've always done a job. For me, that's been a paradigm that I'm happy with. That's one thing. But whenever people start looking and working on their own, I always say that take some time, get to know your trade. Mm. You have a responsibility as an architect and interior designer to what you're doing. There are no shortcuts to what you can do when you do it well. It's go for it, start your business, do that, but learn your trade. Yes. I think a lot of people are just working on the fly and there are a lot of clients who want to get things done on the cheap that hire them. So they learn through a lot of mistakes. But what's really happening is there is a very large multitude of mediocre design mm. that people will land up doing. Absolutely. That's the landscape that you're seeing all yes. the time. Yes. So 
for the people who want to see a landscape of good design around them you need to work with people who've committed to knowing what their trade is yeah there is no glamour in starting very quickly but the glamour is in starting but doing it well and for that there is no whether you do pinterest you do instagram you do whatever what you learn on site and what you learn on the job is what you learn absolutely everything else is incidental and yet you you talked about learning from mistakes right yeah yeah there's always that mindset says okay what's the client going to do now if i made this mistake correct and now i want to cover it up yeah. with a quick fix yeah that quick fix yeah will land you into a big bowl of soup later absolutely right and absolute and that's not the way to go especially for a professional in in a design world correct there's a friend of mine who's an architect right mm. and i love the way she thinks she tells me there is something called an evolution of a design mind yeah and yeah. when she says that that's music to me that's up she's right she's very right yeah and the evolution takes time yeah and the evolution takes time it takes commitment it takes understanding it also i think that if you look at interiors especially now there are so many genres and things to learn from yeah. i'll give you an example especially from what i do i come from a company which is one of the largest design companies in the world we have a huge legacy in terms of research so much of it is about learning yeah. it's about learning and understanding talking to people putting all of that down because when you design lakhs and lakhs of square feet in in workspace the office that you're designing impacts thousands of people every day yes you know you cannot you you can't suddenly get up one day and say that oh i will learn how to do this yes you have to sit you have to put that hard work into it and you have to understand and if you do not evolve you may land up having your business but you may land up being a very mediocre design through your life absolutely so it's your ambition of what kind of designer you want to be absolutely. just because you're successful doesn't make you a good designer yeah. they're two different things and you're doing commercial spaces good design is good business is good, good business. design is yeah. good peace of mind yeah. you're shaping lives you're shaping mindsets because somebody who's giving you're it like you're shaping brands absolutely you're, and people are working anywhere between 10 to 14 hours a day in their workspace yes. the definition it's another home yeah if you don't go to your office and feel energized and you don't do that project well and you don't have the knowledge to facilitate it then what have you done absolutely i know what you mean sir yeah. sir such a pleasure likewise a uh, very ignited young mind sir this was a fun conversation wasn't it you want to hear more from the man he's sticking around at the arc build why don't you come and visit us uh, see you guys see you guys have a great day thank you for tuning in this is the code